Hello, now we will be looking at bad job creation and bad job execution or spool, uh, what we mentioned about spool. Essentially bad job or background jobs what we call are activities or programs which users wants to um, uh, do that those activities in background because in background it will uh, what you call improve system performance as well as these are what you call uh, routine jobs which needs to be done in background rather than and the common examples are when all, all the orders suppose we have created 100 orders for today and whenever they are due for delivery the delivery creation that is uh, creation of VL10 uh, delivery creation should be done automatically or else we can have even picking to be done automatically in background for all the deliveries which have been picked or even the post goods issue with all the deliveries which have been created picked they should be uh, created uh, post goods issue be even updated automatically or there can be another job which creates invoices automatically in background so what we call as delivery due list, billing due list these are the jobs which are run in background even your outputs outputs to be printed can be set for a background job so all these activities what we call as background jobs you can see the monitors as well here in go to logistics execution outbound processing goods issue for outbound delivery outbound delivery monitor so here in you can uh, what you call uh, set these all these programs in background so for let's say for goods issue uh, set this program in background so any program can be set in background basically if you click on program which can be executed can be set in background that is what I'm trying to say for this one similarly we have for invoice billing VFO6 for background processing this also you can you can set a variant like say for sales of 3000 billing type F2 you save this variant and it will run every day job starts and here in you you are given the job start date and it will run every day at this given time so you can just save this variant standard job for test test so this has been set uh, this variant has been created just execute in background so always the invoices will be created in background every day at this time I will show you example one example so this is my custom program actually so I will, I'm selecting a variant this is my variant I am clicking on program execute in background it will ask for me output device that is fine click OK I want this program to be set immediately you can set as you have seen a certain given date or time so periodic job you can say schedule start date like if you want it daily say today's put in 1.2011 at 9 p.m. every night set it as periodic job and save it but I want to create this as an immediate job so I will just click on immediate and save it so now background job was scheduled for programming so all the background jobs you can now let's go in background to check uh, background jobs you can see SM35 here in you can see all the bad jobs uh, these are the normal bad jobs which have been run here in 
but uh, I will talk about this later. First, let's check what is the status of my bad job. So we need to go to SM37. This is my job which I have created just now. This is the job we created now. So click execute. So it says ZODC PLM conversion has been created, has been cancelled. Don't worry of the status because uh, there is a dependency involved for my this program. So that is the reason it has been cancelled but that is fine. But still you can see there has been a spool generated. So select this line, click on spool, you can see there is a spool generated. If you click on this button, you will see the report actually. So th you can download this report if you want. So this is what is called spool. Spool nothing but data container actually. It is a data container. And there is an other way to uh, look at spool as well. The transaction is slash an sp01. So you can give that number. and execute. So you can see the spool has been generated. Or else if you do not want to have anything just give created by and execute you will see all the spools generated for me. It shows the title as well. So spools are nothing but a form of output which is uh, Pools are generated from background jobs. That is what I am trying to say. There is nothing much to say in this. So you create a background job and you see the result in spool request. And to see existing any existing background jobs, you have to go to sorry SM37. So remove my name from there just execute what are the jobs run for today so you can see this let's say this one select this one click on spool this is the job for HR I believe You can see what are the steps involved in that as well. So, so it takes program. Let's take our simple job which I was I have created. Execute. And just select this one. Let's take the steps. So it it says this was a program it created. It will go and show you the details of that as well. under SM35 actually this is batch input process wherein it can show all the logs Let, let's take a Z prize one actually yeah. let's check this job let's check the log for this one there were errors and you can analyze the session as well so this is normally used for uh, this one is used for uh, go live activities for these sessions but normally our job is uh, as a functional consultant we are not much interested in SN35 but we are interested in SN37 SN35 is this one and SN37 is our simple job selections thank you